Will I be witching upon a star, or will Henry Cavill bring me back one more time for a little bit more of The Witcher? Let's talk about it. So The Witcher Season 3 is back. They're only dropping half of it. But I got to check out Episode 1, and I'm going to like break it down and see what I thought. We'll talk about it a little bit, see where things are, see how people are feeling. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Re Reviews Will Kill You, and we're here to talk about Henry Cavill and the new season of The Witcher. My initial thoughts are, they're a little... They're a little it's tricky because I really didn't like season two all that much. And when I watched the recap, I was like, I don't really like remember what, what went on in this show. It was a little convoluted and the confusing and convolutedness does not stop. It continues. But I, there were things I liked about this episode and there were things I definitely didn't like about the episode. It's just strange because I just don't really know how to feel about it. I know it wasn't what I would call gripping television. So I think that's the first part of it. It's not like must watch TV. I think I'll slog through it, but I'm not exactly thrilled about it. The one thing I do know though, is every time Henry Cavill is on screen, I that man, he, he has charisma out the wazoo, whether he's grunting at people or just, just walking and not saying anything, I'm still like, oh, what is he going to do next? Starts off with some good action sequences, but it does not... The pacing on the show is just off. And the writing is just... It just doesn't follow Henry Cavill enough and his character because the other characters just aren't that interesting. Not even, a, like, a little bit. And I don't even know who they are. They're just, they didn't do enough world building. They just kind of throw things at you and you got to hope that you can follow. The one thing I will say though is the three way of Siri, Yennefer, and uh, <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. I kept thinking, there were times when I'm like, is this going to turn into like some weird step parent? weirdness like what <laughs> there's definitely a part where <laughs> where Siri and Yennefer are like giggling with each other and they're like hugging and ice skating and <laughs> I was like are they gonna start making out what are, what's going on here I'm confused and then they're whipping each other with towels and I was like what is, what is this what exactly am I watching here but let's let's get into the spoilers of the breakdown as we take a look this is from Collider, and it's just to give me an idea of the framework of the show, because I definitely don't know who everybody is anymore, even though I could have swore I watched every single episode of Seasons 1 and Season 2. Uh, it started to come back to me towards the end, but that's not the way that you want to dive into a show. And obviously, I, I remember the, the main cast, but it's all these like side characters where everybody's after Siri, and they never really explain why. They're just like, she's, yeah. The one thing I really kind of did like about the series character is she has character development. She's not the bestest ever. She has a ton of potential, but she needs a lot of training and she keeps struggling and she keeps failing and she keeps screwing up. And I thought that was good. That's all, I'd like to see somebody struggle. I, I wanna understand like, cause it, it, you know, how does it make them better? How do they improve? You know, she was trained by the one of the most powerful witches and the most powerful witchers. So, interesting, right? So far, it was good. So, the whole continent seems to be after them, and they're just chasing them down. They can't get a break anywhere. I was starting to think to myself, when is when is Geralt going to run out of money? He just like, here's some coin. I I pay, I, I trust will be discreet. And then they're burning stuff down. I even thought of, uh, when they burned down the first house that they stayed at, that one nice house, I was like, oh, that's a nice set to be burning down. Because <laughs> they torched that thing. It looked pretty good. Uh, the, the Yeah, not a lot has changed. I thought this, this whole episode was going to be about that hunt thing. Uh, but I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. Like, there, there doesn't seem to be be like what's the overarching plot like I, I don't know it was kind of weird these guys think it's off to a great start by tying loose threads together 
I guess. Because I don't really know. I don't even. It's called Shara Wed. I don't know what that. I've tried a Polish word for something. I have no idea. Um, they're on the run. They keep paying people. That's cool. Uh, yo, that's right. Siri was possessed by a demon and she's on the radar of the wild hunt. Don't even know who they are. They didn't give us a real good idea. Uh, but there's a mercenary that fire mage is hunting her and that's what they figure out and they have to keep getting away. And, um, they, they meet up with the, the dwarf guy and his, his group of people, which is cool. I like that. Those actors, I think they do a great job. He's kind of funny. And, they decide that they're just going to keep getting hunted because he has your, he had, they have her blood and, and they, there's a cool part where they fight a, a monster, which I liked. And for once, you know, you know, Geralt saves them. You know what I mean? Like they kind of work together to slow it down, but they were clearly outmatched by the monster. It was pretty cool. I liked the monster and it was like a weird, they, I guess they call it a jack -a it's a giant feral armadillo. I mean, you had to know going to the festival was not going to be a good thing. And their disguises, they talked about like, let's hide our faces. And then like immediately, no, we won't hide our faces. Well, all right. So then they decide to set a trap for this, this fire mage guy and end him. And that's the point. It's like the pacing just, it took us 45 minutes to get to that. And it's just like, it kind of slogs at points where you're just like, eh. and every time it leaves the trio, I just, I wasn't that interested un until like the plot started to unravel or, or like unfold where they're trying to bring people. I don't know if you guys noticed Robbie Amell was also in this. Uh, he's the cousin of the Green Arrow who, and he was in the Green Arrow series. So good to see him it looks like he lost a ton of weight though he, he's so he's this he's the evil elf guy with the weird voice i talk like this because i'm real angry all the time so that was that was kind of amusing to see him uh so then they while they're trying to get rid of uh Rience, the the fire mage guy which was i i like that that battle scene the only thing about those battle scenes too is you know, you've got like a 90 pound girl fighting these guys. And granted, she was trained by the best. So she was trained by the Witcher. So maybe she can hold them off. I just wish she like used her magic a little bit. Because when Yennefer is holding open the portal, those parts were cool. They try to grab Siri, and she's like gets angry and like, Poof. I thought she lost her magic. I was under the impression she lost her magic. I don't know how she got it back. They don't really, I, I, I didn't understand how she got it back. Don't know, but they're fighting in these ruins and the ruins look cool. There's actually kind of an interesting monologue where it got interrupted because they showed up. You know, I, I, there's peace. If, if there's, I guess the show is just bloated. If they cut that down to a 30 minute runtime or 35 minutes instead of 55 minutes, I think the show would be, would be pretty good. It's just, it's just so bloated with extra stuff that you just don't need. Characters that don't know how they fit into it. Um, but he's, you know, the Witcher is, is jumps through this portal and he breaks the Fire Mage's arms, but then he's got to go back and save Ciri so he can't finish off the job. And then that's where they kind of leave off is that they have to split up for some reason. And I just, that didn't seem like a good idea. And it's, it's just strange. And then they've got the Bard guy. I don't know if he's like going to betray them. And I, I, I don't know. The whole fight, with the, they could just totally eliminate the elves and it would be completely, they, they're irrelevant to the story. I just don't really understand what all those are for. They're trying to make it like Game of Thrones, but I we don't know the characters well enough and they're not compelling enough for us to do anything. There's not enough interconnectedness. It feels like this giant continent where like nobody's connected. I don't even know they're taking Ciri somewhere to learn something, like... And look, I, I tried to pay attention as much as I could, but I don't know what's going on. Like, it, it's just, it's it's all very confusing. It's not well plotted out. It's a, it's definitely bloated. I guess I'll, I'll drag it out. I don't know, man. They show some guy at the end, and I'm like, I think a bunch of people died in that room, and I don't remember who he is, and I'm supposed to know who these paintings are. It's, it's just, it's so... I'm just so on the fence about it. So let me know what you guys think, because I definitely am curious. 
What you guys think? Uh, are you sticking with it? Uh, do you think they're going to have a good send-off for Henry Cavill? Are you mad at Netflix? I, like, I just, I don't know what to make of it. I, like I said, there's the pieces of a good show in here, but it's it suffers from the same problems that all the other seasons had. And, and it's just the pacing is off and, and all those different things that I said before. Let me know in the comments below. I'll read them all and, and we'll have a little bit of a discussion. And uh, let's talk a little bit more about The Witcher. Are you on board? You're not on board? If you get the chance, though, make sure that you check out our live podcast well, we have a podcast. It's it's on iTunes, Spitcher, Spitcher, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places. But you can also come hang out with us, usually Friday night, 7.30 p.m. It's live or here on YouTube. Catch us on Rumble. DM us on Instagram. But as for myself, I'm witching out of here because I'm on to the next one. Mm-hmm.